We are live. Holy cow. And quite the day around here. Hell of a wine day, honestly. Um, with one of the wines being this bad boy. All right, Melville. You guys have, have seen this name, heard this name. Uh, one of the great names in the Santa Rita Hills area of Santa Barbara County. Beautiful location, fabulous vineyards. Um, and today we had another look at, uh, at both the 2021s, the Syrah wines from Melville, which, you know, it, it's, it's a funny story. Okay, how do, I, how do I say this nicely? Okay, well, you know, Greg Brewer, Brewer Clifton used to make the wines at Melville. And then they transitioned to Chad Melville um, as the winemaker. And Chad has chops too. But I, even then, I think there was still like a, a learning phase somehow with, with how Chad makes wine based on how Greg made wine, et cetera, et cetera. And, and this transitional period to me has felt longer than, than, than I think it should have been. Uh, but what we're seeing now is, is Chad really getting into his shiznit and, and creating really dynamic wines from this vineyard now that, that granted are a little different than Greg's, but uh, in, in their own respects, just as amazing. And um, we saw this first actually, not with the Pinot Noir, not with the Chardonnay, but with the Syrah. Um, Chad's Syrahs from their estate vineyard have been exquisite. And the 2021s are, are really benchmark Syrahs for Chad and for Melville. These are absolutely exquisite wines. And I had this conversation earlier with someone here in the tasting room, and we were talking about how, you know, there's a lot of American producers that want to make French style, right? You know, Northern Rhone style uh, Syrah wines from their vineyards. And believe me, I know all these cats in Santa Barbara County, and they're just all just like pounding Aliman and Gonon and Shav and you know these guys got a little coin and they're drinking all these great wines and they want to make those wines here but easier said than done right based on soils you know granite there sand here clones uh, vine age how do you do this and I think it's been a long frustrating process for a lot of really top flight producers, vineyards, growers in this area to kind of emulate those wines. Um, uh, sure, I'd love to make Alimond at uh, 20 cents in the dollar, but you know, there's a reason Alimond is Alimond. It's Cordas, it's Chaillot, it's Reynard, it's old vines, it's hillside vineyards, it's granite soils, it's, you know, and, and you're gonna be hard pressed to emulate that here. But what you can do is be inspired by it and make wines that are that are infused with that mojo. And I think uh, that's kind of what um, Chad is doing at Melville. And I was just really, really triple impressed by these wines again today. I've had these wines two or three times and finally got to the point where I was like, we have to talk about these wines. These are really banging. And well, the question is, why are they banging? And here you go. So first of all, let me come, let me cut back a little bit and say that Cote Roti, for example, in the Northern Rhone is encountering a little bit of an issue right now because things have warmed up climate change has created a scenario where the wines are losing their cooler sense of character. That blueberry fading into like bacon, you know, the um, um, character that made co-roti so elegant and refined and distinctive and complex. The wines are almost getting a bit too big. They're almost kind of, co-roti is kind of almost going like the Hermitage route. And so we're almost losing some identity from co-roti right now. And frankly, with Santa Rita Hills, we're in a region one terroir. It's a cool climate with zero disease pressure. So we're in a situation where they can pick the grapes anytime they want. So it's up to the uh, the vineyard and the winemaker to pick the grapes at a certain point in time to kind of semi emulate what the old Cote Roti mojo was or the old Hermitage mojo was. And that's what these guys are trying to do right now. And I think, I think Chad's got his finger on it, you know what I mean? Like this wine is delivering that Northern Rhone mojo here. We, we have the licorice, we have the white pepper, we have, um, God, what did he call it? He, he had a term for some of the fruit component. This was just completely whacked out, but 
We have that northern roan mojo, as long as well as a little bit of that kind of white stone fruit character. You know, the, the great coat rotis, the great whites from the northern roan, had a little bit of that almost like, like, like peach or apricot overtone to the red fruits here, and, and, and Chad does that in this wine. Mm. While still delivering classic California flavors. There's plenty of fleshy fruit in the palate of this wine. What a complete, beautiful California Syrah. I mean, this one checks all the boxes, both in a California and a French type way. Stunning wine. I mean, 21 was the vintage to do this in. Nice, cool, long growing season. And boy, he did this. Not only that, he did it twice. Right, so you got the straight estate Syrah, which is several parcels around the vineyard, mostly sand. Uh, the, you know, the Melville property in Santa Rita Hills is on a lot of sand, which provides the kind of richness and base notes to the mid palate of these wines. But then Donna's is in the north northeastern section of the vineyard. All these vines, by the way, are kind of closing on 30 years old, 25, 30 years old. So you have some older vineyards now. These are mature. And, and the Donna's kind of takes the estate and takes it one level further. So the state was about 40% whole cluster. So a uh, whole cluster is really popular amongst like the Northern Rhone inspired Cognizanti. And so this one's like 40% whole cluster. I'm glad it was not more because, um, because the fruit's really expressive here, but you get that wonderful kind of, you know, kind of like herbal savory characters from that whole cluster vinification, as well as those kind of stone fruit high tones from that. The Don is 100% whole cluster, but the key thing here is the fruit and the Don is, is the next level and can take that 100% whole cluster vinification. So this is like a spinal tap, right? So think of like this one, you go up to 10, the Don is takes it to 11, right? And let's think of it that way. And you know, the, the press responded accordingly. Um, 98 points for the Don is, I think. Double 96s for the State Syrah. Under $40. I don't know if there's another California Syrah under this price range that has garnered that kind of press at that kind of price? I'm thinking about it, and the answer at the moment is no. <laughs> no, I don't think it's happened. So you're talking probably the most highly lauded California Syrah under 40 bucks in the market right here. And then again, they take it up to 11 with the wax topped Donna's selection from 2021. Just. Absolutely exquisite Syrahs from the Melvilles. Kudos to you guys. Complete hammer. Mic drop. Oot.